give it a bit of a dunk. It's not tea with biscuits. <laughs> Ooh. I am going to get some water because I need to heat the water up to make the developing solutions. 44 degrees. First of all we actually have to make it and then once it's all mixed together then we need to reduce the heat. So this might take a little while. I only shot my first roll of slide film in October 2020. I think there's like this bizarre narrative that slide film is really hard to shoot. Never have any problem with this until you film it. On the other hand, I've also heard it was the natural film stock of choice for family shooters on holidays and things because you could then come home and do the slideshow of images. So I think it perhaps depends more upon the camera you're using because if your camera can pretty reliably meter then slide film shouldn't be a problem. And so that first roll of slide film that I shot went through my Canon EOS 1N. My first roll of slide film was really quite exciting. I've got the slides here you can't really see them when I put them up on the screen. Seeing these little these little images in their little mouth is really exciting. There's just something about it. Maybe it's novelty, maybe it's just genuinely exciting, I don't know. But that really sparked off an interest for me and I decided I wanted to have a go at developing E6 film myself. Having shot a few rolls of slide film so far, I knew my metering was pretty good and so I was confident that the exposure shouldn't be a problem in my own home developing. So therefore the only issue would be A, the fact that some of my rolls were expired film, or B, if the developing actually went wrong. I've progressed, I've done black and white, I've done colour, and now I'm doing slide. So I'm not, it's not like I've come into it and I've gone, I'm just gonna have a go at the slide film. <laughs> I have uh, worked my way up. And believe it or not, I did a lot of research. I even talked to someone. I got a mentor in, in slide film processing and asked, and asked for tips. So <laughs> it may look like I, I'm a complete bumbling idiot, but I have done research. <laughs> As with my first C41 develop, I opted to use an expired roll of 120 film. This was Fuji RVP160 which I shot at box speed because from what I understand slide film even when it's expired should be shot at its box speed which has worked well for me so far but in this case the images have not come out brilliantly. I shot this roll in my mum's garden, it's one of my favourite places to shoot, she grows amazing flowers and I just adore shooting her garden. I naively thought that E6 developing would not be too big a step up from C41 and in some respects it's not. The steps are largely the same, the temperatures are largely the same but there is some differences. So for instance one of the mixing temperatures has to be up at 60 degrees centigrade. Some of the final washes need to be at that higher temperature too which it actually takes quite a while to get up to that temperature and when you're having to come up to that temperature and then back down to 39 degrees that takes actually a really long time and I think there's quite a lot of energy waste in up and down, up and down, up and down for, for developing, especially when you develop one roll at a time or just two rolls at a time. Since doing this first develop, I have talked to other people who've developed slide film and some of them are confused by the high temperatures used, so I don't know if that's something that's unique to the Cinestill chemicals that I was using, that it needs that higher temperature. I also found that these chemicals were the most toxic that I've used so far from the black and white, the C41 and E6. They're the only ones that have instantly irritated my skin. They have been the worst for staining, so I have a little tablecloth that I use. The E6 chemicals are the only ones that have permanently stained that. On top of spaghetti, all covered in cheese. Something that really stood out for me was the fact that the develop was really inconsistent across roles. With black and white and with the C41 developing, I could pretty consistently achieve the number 
of roles that the chemical stated so with black and white and with C41 I was able to get to the maximum value and probably further before I saw degradation and then with this E6 it was it was supposed to be 7 to 8 120 rolls or a little bit more if, if you were using 35 millimeter and I was doing a mixture so you would expect to be able to get 7 to 10 rolls of film out of that one batch of chemicals but with E6 the results were so inconsistent and by the time I got to I think it was only the sixth roll the results were so dark that I thought well that clearly shows that this mixture is, is gone now so I was really disappointed with that so let's have a look at some of the results from my developing that very first roll that we developed came out basically monochrome green we have tried doing some troubleshooting using the trusty darkroom handbook okay so <laughs> the darkroom handbook doesn't mention getting a green cast so the first roll had this monochromatic green look to it. When I pulled it out I thought, oh that's fine because it looked quite blue and I know I've watched other developers say that they get a blue cast to begin with and then when it dries it's fine. After that we had a very blue roll which was CDU2 film. I've heard from the, the guy I bought it from, it does have a bit of a blue cast or a cold cast but that has just been massively accentuated with whatever it was that we did wrong. When you're moving up and down temperatures so wildly, maybe I was using the wrong temperature to develop. Maybe I wasn't quite down to the 40 degrees or quite up to the 60 degrees. But anyway, whatever it was, we had a green one, we had a blue one. I then did a roll that came out pretty much perfect. That was really exciting. It was really exciting to see a perfect roll. But I think I got two good rolls. I then had a more bluey purpley one, another good one, and then, as I say, it got darker and the chemicals were unusable and so that was the end. I also will be unlikely to be sending off E6 to be developed, now I know what, you know, all these temperature issues, toxic chemicals, I'm going to avoid it, but what I will do is experiment with the rolls that I have left. I know there's a big debate about cross-processing, but I would like to try cross-processing, which is developing slide film in C41 chemicals, and try bleach bypassing as well, I think that's going to be quite exciting. If you were shooting large format, I mean then you could start to do some pretty interesting things with like the actual slime on say a light box on the wall like that would be really cool like I could see that being a good way to use slide film but in 35 millimeter in particular I just don't I don't see the benefit I don't see it you know if it does it for you fine but it doesn't do it for me the only tip I can think to help you reduce your environmental impact with E6 developing is to try and organize it so that not only have you saved up the number of rolls to utilise your chemicals, but then to try and set aside a whole day and do all of your developing in one day so that you're not heating and lowering, heating and cooling your water and your chemicals because that's where you can make an impact. I can't think of any way you can change the chemicals that you're using. I mean, someone might be coming up with some experimentation. I'd love to know, by the way, if anyone has had any success with E6 developing with some sort of alternative, that would be amazing. And so as it happens, straight after doing the E6 development, I went back to black and white because I had saved up quite a few rolls again. And what a joy, what a joy black and white developing is. I was sat, I think I did some while I was listening to an audiobook, I did some listening to music, I did some watching some Netflix. <laughs> and it was just so much more peaceful and the results are just joyous every time when you pull that you pull that roll of film out you've got lovely black and white negatives it's just lovely the there's like a there's like a scale there's like a balancing scale of like the fun of developing versus the complications and the labor required to do the process and black and white is definitely like fun outweighs the labour, whereas with the E6 developing, the, oh, it's, black and white is, is my bag really, yeah.